So, <laughs> saw boat wheel, got the horn button, don't work. I don't have a horn. Uh, Momo hub, it's all suede, so I am going to need to buy gloves now. <laughs> What's up guys, so since, god, the last video, I think it was the wing video for my car, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that was the last update. So this time, we're actually going to be installing the Momo wheel hub, well, steering wheel hub. It's a collapsible one by Momo. Um, I didn't want to get an NRG one, because, uh, yeah. Yeah. Be <laughs> stuff, but, um, and this one I know will be safe, collapsible. And uh, so we're going to be doing an install on this because I haven't actually been able to see one on YouTube. So hopefully this video will help you out. And then with this little show update, um, I guess it'd be better from the other side. I finished pulling out the rest of the carpet and I got my saw belt seat. Uh -oh. So first step to doing this, like taking off your actual stock steering wheel. Um, there's gonna be two screws. Yours will have a plastic, you know, cover right here, and there's two holes that have two screws up here. I believe they're Phillips. Yeah, mine are Phillips. I think mine got changed, but they might be a Torx. But mine were Phillips. You pull those out, and then you can actually pull the bottom section of the plastic top uh, cover off, and that'll expose some things. And then this top piece, I believe it just pops off. Yeah, so you kind of just pop this back out here pop this down and then just kind of pop up and then it'll pop off from there for working with airbags make sure you disconnect your battery because you don't want your airbag blowing up in your face while you're trying to take off your steering wheel and, you know make a car look cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah go ahead and disconnect your battery all right so now to remove the actual airbag centerpiece there's two holes in the back of the steering wheel i believe they are right down here they're down here so you're going to want to get like a small flat head that's probably your best bet yeah small flat head and you're going to poke it through there and that hole actually will lead you to this hole and it'll go through and there's a little black rod that comes through and you actually push on that black rod and that'll and you push pretty hard and it'll pop that side out and then you do the same to the other side and then you'll be able to access your horn and airbag cables to disconnect and that's when you go ahead and just start doing that Bada -bada. Boom. And now we have access to the big old nut <laughs> <laughs> holding on the steering wheel. And that's the last one. Oh. Harness for the harness for buttons. Actual, yep. That's just back here. Oh. Well, it wasn't that tight. <laughs> so the, the nut is actually a 15 16 so whatever that translates to in metric, I guess you can use that too. Yeah. <laughs> you, have to, you just had the last chance. Yeah, you just gotta center it and then yank that off. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's the uh, spiral cable. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't need that. No. <laughs> okay, so what that looked like was a problem. <laughs> But it wasn't. You actually have to remove that anyways. And how you actually remove this, there's a plug down here. Pull that out. And then I didn't know what the heck to do. And I just went and it came off without breaking. So you just yank it. And then you got a, you got a fun jump rope <laughs> to show your friends. All right. So now we mount things. Yeah. <laughs> so once everything's unplugged and you know grab your hub and it, if you get this momo one which i'll put a link from where i got it amazon it has a top arrow 
and it says top. So you kind of just get that hole somewhat center and you push that puppy on there right now. You're going to have space in the back and then you get your nut and you have fun getting it in there. And I'm guessing since it was super easy to pull off, I'm just going to go a little bit tighter than that. Okay, hold on. I got to actually hold this. Maybe with the wheel on. Yeah. Leverage. Yeah. So everything's mounted now, tightened down. I haven't ordered a wheel yet just because I didn't know with my seating position for my pedals, I didn't know what depth of the dish I would need for my comfort. So what I did to start off was I grabbed my dad's little sprint car wheel, which is a flat, it's just flat dish. And I put it on there and I fully harnessed in to see where I would hit. And basically the bottom right here would hit. So I can still go to here. So I'm gonna do, I think it's a 64 millimeter depth dish saw belt wheel. I'm gonna order that tonight. So hopefully it's in before the 30th so I can run that. But that's how I'm gonna kind of, that's how I figured it out what I think I need. We did some measurements to kind of see where I would be and it seems like it'll be doable. doable. So yeah. Um, we'll probably not post this until the wheel comes in so we can show you it's all done and uh, what wheel and where it all fits in but yeah so that's where we're at at this point we're just waiting on the wheel Okay, so it's been a minute since <laughs> I said it's not going to be a minute to you guys, but it's a minute to us. Um, so now I'm showing you the complete product or finished product of my steering wheel. <laughs> okay. So, saw belt wheel, got the horn button, don't work. I don't have a horn. Uh, Momo hub, it's all suede, so I am going to need to buy gloves now just because I don't want to ruin the wheel. But um, not a hard install. Actually, relatively simple. If you just- Just that spiral cable. You can't really- cable. You can't really- Really do anything about it. It's gonna- You're not gonna have a horn really either. No, and it's gonna fly out anyway, so. <laughs> you don't gotta worry about a horn, just yell out the window if you're driving this on the street. Or just rev at them, you're just probably loud enough. If, yeah, if you're doing a steering wheel, you definitely have an exhaust. <laughs> so, um, yes, yeah. if you like the video on the steering wheel, be sure to drop a comment, ask us for any information, and uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> He's freaking <laughs> <laughs>